It's a great night to be at the Nordic. What is that? Vanilla shake, man. Over there, they're making a shake. Good morning, everyone. This is Tim. This is a beautiful day, and I hope you're doing well. I'm pretty excited because today, I think we're going to travel to what I think is America's best lobster and seafood buffet. It's a little bit far away because it's in Rhode Island, Charleston, Rhode Island, and it's called the Nordic Lodge Buffet, and uh, I can't wait to give it a try. So it is a little bit of a drive because right now I'm in Central Park in New York, and I'm just waiting for my rental car. So it gives me a little bit of time to walk around Central Park and explore. So really grateful. And there's a little bit of significance to this trip because two years ago, my good friend Lois and I were in New York and we were planning to make this excursion to the Nordic Lodge. But uh, as you know, in New York, there's too many things to do and always too little time. So we thought we'd postpone the trip until our next trip to New York, which was in back then a couple of months. But then I guess we all know what happened. So right now I'm back uh, trying to use up my flight vouchers before they expire and uh, pretty excited here because it's almost like things are back to normal. I know we're not there yet, but we're getting pretty close and it feels nice. So really grateful that you're able to join me and also really grateful for Vessi who is sponsoring this video. Uh, Vessi is a Vancouver based company that makes fantastic waterproof breathable shoes and in Vancouver where it rains a lot definitely a must and even here where the weather's getting cold and uh, maybe a little snowy and slushy they're fantastic because it keeps you nice and warm in the winter time and also nice and cool in the summer as well so I've been exploring New York walking around exploring in my weekend sneakers they're super comfortable super cushiony and uh, just like walking on a cloud and these are my everyday sneakers that I've been wearing for the better part of the year. Super lightweight, very responsive, and they're still white after about a year. Uh, that's because they're super easy to clean. Just a little bit of water, a little bit of soap, give it a whoosh and uh, rinse it off. And because they're waterproof, they're super easy to dry. Just leave them out and let them air dry overnight and you're done. And let me just show you how waterproof they are. Let's join these ducks here. Fully submerged. and completely dry. No more wet socks here. So whether you're traveling or exploring, that rainstorm isn't gonna catch you by surprise. So if you get a chance, give it a try. Vessi is online and they ship to many countries. And uh, if you miss their sale, like their Black Friday sale, or if the pair you want isn't on their sale, uh, Vessi was nice enough to leave a discount code. So for you to get your discount in case you missed it, and I'll leave the website and the discount code in the video description below. So I think our car is ready. And with all this walking, I'm getting hungry, but it's gonna be a bit of a drive. So I hope you're ready. Uh, let's go for a ride. Oh, so that was a bit of a drive, but a nice one. I got a chance to pass by the WWE corporate office and that was pretty nice to see, but we finally made it. This is a Nordic and I can see the big American flag up ahead and I'm getting pretty hungry, so I can't wait to give it a try. Uh, come on, uh, let's go in and take a look. Hello. Hey Brian, how are you? I am well, welcome. You, and you're a little cold. It's not bad out here. <laughs> okay, well, pretty hungry. And uh, what do you think? Is it the best buffet in uh, it, America? It, it's a great night to be at the Nordic. All right, all right. Thank you, Brian. Enjoy. So it's a little dark here, but we're just approaching. Really nice to see Brian welcoming everyone. Let's go in. Hey Jake, hey Laura. Welcome to the Nordic. Oh, this looks fantastic. It's not too busy today? No, no, you picked a great night to come in. Oh, fantastic, I can't wait. Yeah. All right, thank Enjoy. you. Enjoy. <laughs> so you'll bring the seating slip right down past the bar to Michael and he'll get you guys seated. 
All right, and I'm just looking for Michael. I don't think that's him. Hey, How Michael. Are you today? Hi. Thank you. What's and your first name? Uh, Tim. Tim. Nice to meet you, Tim. All right, thank you. And I got my slip there. Yeah. All sure, right. A, have you been with us before? No, this is a first time. First time. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll show you this way, Tim, too. All right, so I got a fantastic table from Mike and Nikki and everyone so friendly here. Let me show you the dining room. So normally this is crazy busy, but as Jake mentioned, this is a nice night, not too many people. So I ordered a glass of wine, but I don't think I'm gonna wait for it to come. Can't wait, I'm gonna check out the buffet first. Come on, let's go. Oh my goodness, it's getting pretty busy here. I can see the seafood station and all the hardworking folks at the dessert station. That back there is a very important lobster station. And then our regular buffet station that's a horseshoe shape, really nice. And the all important uh, dessert station. And I think they have a hidden room back here where they have the prime rib. So we'll definitely visit that shortly and we'll grab a plate to start. Let's see what they have. Got some chicken wings. There's some wingette. Oh, some ribs and on any other day I would go for those, but I'm just trying to save some room. Oh, hi there. What are these? That is a stuffed mushroom. Oh. Stuffy with Ritz cracker and mixed vegetables. Oh, wonderful. All right, let's go for some of this. Stuffed mushroom with crab. So moving on, some veggies, some fried rice. And oh, look at this. We have shrimp number one. Looks really amazing, but shrimp number two looks better. Hi there. Oh, look at this. Hi Hope, how are you? I think, oh, more food here. Look at this. All right, so that's kind of the... Oh my goodness, this is, um, this is king crab. Oh, Hope, may I, uh, may I get maybe one or two? Thank you. Oh, thanks so much. Oh, yes, please. All right, thank you. So this is amazing here, king crab, and I thought the lobster was the main attraction. I think there's way more than that. Oh, and I see some oysters. Oh, hey Matt, thank you so much for all these oysters. Oh my goodness. Some oysters and some wonderful clams. We got some smoked salmon. A lot of nice salads, which might be nice as well to cut all the rich seafood. Ooh, an amazing shrimp. This is pretty crazy. You see everyone with a smile on their face and they should with all this nice seafood. So we're coming up to the all important station here, the lobster station and all the hardworking folks here. And let me show you what they have. So these are a little bit of the sampler, some seafood salad, some crawfish, the uh, mussels and ooh, you know, this is a salad I can go for. A nice shrimp salad. Hey Tim, how are you? I'm awesome. Oh, you feel, oh, fantastic. Oh my goodness, look at this. Beautiful lobsters. Can I get one? Yes, you may, sir. All right. And you know what? How about an extra claw, too? Oh, yes, please. Thank oh, you. you. Oh, thanks. Look at this. Got this amazing lobster from Tim. Let's see what else they have. Baked potato. Oh, a nice baked potato. Lob yes. Mac and cheese. I'm gonna, yeah, let's do a baked potato. You like sour cream and butter? Uh, yes, please. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. A little bit of lobster mac and cheese. Hey Matt, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you doing? Oh, look at this. Oh, you got some sole. I think my plate's too full at the moment. And then, but maybe not too full for a uh, crab leg here. There you go. All right, thanks Matt. My pleasure. All right. Any butter for you? Thanks, sure. Oh yes, Tristan, please. There we go. Thank you so much. Yeah, sure. This plate is getting so heavy and it's heavy with lobster. And I heard they have a famous clam chowder. So this is not the clam chowder. This is the fruits and uh, looks like nobody has uh, laid a hand on the fruit, which is understandable. We have some more mushrooms, you see the corn, and this is a round piece of something. Let's give that a try. 
I know. What is this? That's a lobster fritter. Oh, a lobster fritter. So people like to dip, dip that in a bit. Hey, Dave. Hi. Hey, thank you so much. I, I heard the lobster bisque and the... Uh, oh, and can I try some of the clam chowder as well? Oh, you know what? I forgot to think it through. All right. Thank you, David. All right. Enjoy your night. All right. I'll say thank you. Oh, sure. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, same here. So I didn't have a chance to visit all the stations yet, but this is what I have so far, and it's humongous. Let me show you. We've got the uh, all this good stuff from the buffet, some oysters and clams, the stuffed mushrooms, the shrimp, and then on top here, we have the king crab, and behind there, we have another crab. That's the snow crab. And moving on, we have this amazing lobster and an extra claw from Tim and some mac and cheese with lobster wonderful baked potato and finally from Dave we've got an amazing clam chowder which I have to try the lobster bisque and then the lobster fritters which Dave said people like to take and dunk into the chowder and the bisque great cheers all right, a little bit of clam chowder. Mm. Very rich and chunks of clam. Mm. Very nice. Can't wait to try the lobster bisque. Oh, nice and rich and luscious. Oh, oh wow. The clam chowder was good, but the lobster bisque is way better. So rich and luscious and real depth of lobster flavor and a nice seafood sweetness. Look at the chunks of lobster. Mm. Very nice. Let's try the lobster bisque with the fritters. So this is lobster on lobster. Mm go for the lobster fritter very nice but i think we need to try the crab see if we can crack into this oh look at that so nice and meaty perfectly cooked look at that a little bit of butter or a lot of butter <laughs> all right cheers mm. that crab perfectly cooked nice and meaty mm, fantastic I'm gonna cut into the shell first but I think just to protect myself they've given me something so I think now the real eating can begin let's give it a try oh that and we'll peel it we'll peel it back a little bit hopefully oh my goodness look at this the king crab just comes out here beautiful meat a little bit of uh, butter there we go oh. I honestly think king crab is my favorite even over lobster but there's only one way to verify let's go for the lobster next Mm, very good. So let's dig into the lobster. And uh, this is my technique, uh, so please don't judge. So I'm going to remove this extra claw. And I think we'll give it a twist. With authority. Oh. All right. We'll give it a crack. There we go. And I think it should just come out because it's perfectly cooked. Look at that. Let's give it a wiggle. Oh, a little bit of butter. A lot of butter. Thank you. All right. So Lisa's just checking on me there and uh, she's giving me, some, giving me some wet, wet naps, which are much needed. All right, here we go. Cheers. Mm. 
Uh, lobster is perfectly cooked. So the succulent, mm, very sweet. And that butter just adds more richness to it. Mm. So I'm just going to continue finishing up my place here. I haven't visited all the buffet area yet. There's still the grill station and then of course more lobster. And I'll take it back shortly. Cheers. Mm. Oh, so that was a massive amount of seafood, but so easy to finish. Everything was nice and fresh and oceany sweet. Very good. That lobster mac and cheese, I know I generally stay away from the pastas and the breads, but definitely get that. That has such a deep cheesy flavor and chunks of lobsters in there. And then uh, that shrimp stuffed with crab, seafood stuffed with seafood. So I think it's time for more food. And I think we'll visit the grill station, get some prime rib and see what other meats they have. And here we go through the buffet arches. Okay, and I didn't realize this, but they named it quite appropriately, the grill room through the arches again. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> Not too bad. Have you sat down and eaten yet? Oh, I have. <laughs> Tons of seafood. Uh, how do you like it? Oh, excellent. Oh, this is quality food. Totally. I, uh, this is probably the best buffet I've seen in America. Oh, man. So, <laughs> Something, huh? Yeah. The biggest and best buffet this side of the Mississippi. The seafood. What's on the other side of the Mississippi? Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Who knows? All right, nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Enjoy. Uh, I will. Uh, yeah, you too. Not yet. What is that? Vanilla shake, man. Over there, they're making a shake. All right. Thanks, Gary. All right. Carol and Gary are fantastic folks. Everyone here is quite nice. Uh, in fact, very nice. Oh, and I'm going to grab my plate. I see some fried stuff here. Oh, hey, Chris, this looks fantastic. You got some uh, fried foods here. Wonderful fries. And then this is the fried chicken tenders. Really nice. Oh, lobster fritters. I had these with the lobster bisque. Really good. Fried scallops. I think I'll go for one of these. Oh, wonderful. Oh, and then we have some fried shrimp here. Look at this. Grab one. But we mustn't keep them lonely. So shrimp number two and scallop number two. Oh, a luscious prime rib and more grilled meats there. Oh my goodness. What is this? We got our signature medium rare prime rib. We do oh. have a more grilled up, probably you like it. We have our filet and oh. the teriyaki tenderloin tips. That is cooked perfectly. Look at that, how nice and juicy and, oh, yeah. and fatty it is. Uh, hey Sarah, hey Hannah. This looks great. And you have filet mignon. Yep, how would oh. you like it? Oh, can I grab one? Maybe a uh, medium rare? Medium rare? Oh my goodness. Oh. And then, oh, I can't say no to that prime rib. Oh my goodness. Thank you. A little bit of horseradish. Right over here. And then a nice uh, view. Wow. I should have thought about that before putting the fried stuff here. Massive plate of food. And you know what goes good with uh, prime rib? Lobster. All right. Hey, how are you, Matt? Oh, not too bad. Actually, I'm here back for lobster number two. All right. Oh my goodness, that's heavy. Oh, thank you. Can I get some butter for you? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Thanks, Tristan. Of course. Oh, thank you, thank you. All right, that was heavy. And a uh, massive plate of food. Oh my God. That is a heavy plate of food. My forearm is really getting a workout. So we've got some really nice fried seafood here, fried shrimp, fried scallop, and then this filet mignon. I can't wait to give that a try. Next to it, we have the amazing prime rib, nice and fatty. And then accompanying that is our little friend here, Pinchy, with uh, all his uh, Pinchy goodness and uh, luscious meats as well. So I'm just gonna dig into the prime rib. And this is nice, we're gonna leave him for a little bit. But look at this, this is my favorite part, the nice cap, and then the muscle meat. A little bit of horseradish here. Actually, you know what? I really don't even need a knife. All right. Just tears apart. And I think I might have cut a too big of a piece. 
That's okay. Nice and luscious. Mm. Nice meaty flavor and it just melts in your mouth. And occasionally, we have a little bit of that uh, fat marbling. Mm. Very nice. Oh, and I need to cut into that filet. We're gonna move the scallops off to one side. And let's see how Sarah did with the filet. Oh man, just tender. Oh, nice and pink. Wonderfully pink. Mm. Nice and meaty. Nice and peppery as well. Mm. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll just finish off the fried rib, the seafood, and lobster number two. And we'll go back with some favorites and finally definitely have to go for some dessert. And as Gary said, get the milkshake. Oh, thanks, John. This is amazing. Thanks, Izzy. Hey, what's your favorite so far? Definitely the king crab. Me too. That is my favorite. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, sure. it's fantastic. All right, so I'm just going to hit up the desserts. Uh, so I can't wait to give that a try and we'll see. All right, <laughs> thanks, Izzy. <laughs> thanks. So I'm just going to head over to the dessert station. And oh, I see Steve here. The Nordic is probably one of the best buffets, if not the best, I've, I've had so far. Yeah, thank you very much for that. I'm very flattered you should come from so far away. Yeah, and it's not only the food, it's the people. It's a good bunch we have here. Between family and those that work here, they've been here so long, many of them, they are like family. Yeah. Feels like home. Yeah. What would you suggest for dessert? I like the salted caramel cheesecake. The carrot cake is really good. It's whatever you like. Yeah. I mean, everything we have here is really good. So we have some pecan pie. And, uh, ooh, some carrot cake. And a nice German chocolate cake. I think that carrot cake's looking pretty good. Can I get a piece of carrot cake, please? Do you want a whole slice or a half Oh, let's do a whole slice. And I got my own plate. Oh, okay, I'm regretting the uh, whole slice. And then the chocolate cake looks really good. Can I get a half a slice of that? Oh, yes, thank you. I see some eclairs looking really good. And it's nice to cut it in half for you. Right, right here. These are the uh, Snicker cheesecake. And those are... This is caramel cheesecake. Oh, caramel cheesecake. Can I, can I get a little bit of the Snickers cheesecake? Half. half yeah, a small half piece. Maybe the non, the smaller piece? Yeah, thank you. Hey Nathan, how are you? Oh, fantastic. And the strawberries look amazing. Uh, I guess we help ourselves? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Go for one of these. White covered strawberry. And cherries. But Tim, what do you do back home? Right. Oh, and I can't say no to some whipped cream and strawberries. Thank you. Just a tad. All right, thanks, Nathan. Yeah, perfect. Oh. We have pumpkin cheesecake. Pumpkin cheesecake. New York cheesecake and strawberry. Oh, New York and strawberry. Oh, thank you so much. And I see uh, my favorite, the cannolis. You gotta go for one of these. Oh, chocolate chip. And then uh, what do we have? The uh, lemon squares. Uh, cannolis I got, and oh, these look so good. Moose cups. All right. All right, nice. Okay, so we mustn't keep that lonely. We'll grab another one. All right, massive plate of dessert. Let's see what else they have. And this is what I've been waiting for, the Hagen dazs Sunday Bar. And I think they also make milkshakes here. Hey, Cassidy. Hey, Hudson. I've been waiting for the dessert. And uh, I heard uh, uh, the, um, the ice cream sundaes are fantastic. The, yes. This is Hagen dazs Yeah. Can I go for an ice cream sundae? Yeah, what kind of flavor? Uh, well, I heard President's Ford favorite ice cream is butter pecan. Yes. <laughs> can I go for one of those? Yeah, totally. How are you, sir? How can I help you? Oh, thank you, Cassidy. And then you can help yourself with the toppings right over there. Uh, All right. Oh, and you have some brownies. Yeah, we have them warmed up too. Is it okay if I get a piece of brownie in the ice cream? Yeah, half a brownie. Oh, half would be great. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Oh, and you have an apple. Yeah, we oh. have those warmed up too. Oh, 
Can I get the apple pie on top of the brownie? Yeah. Maybe a half if you have one? Oh. Yeah, Oh, thank you. I'm yeah. watching my weight. All right, so I have the ice cream. Oh, and I almost forgot. Hey, Hudson, uh, there's a gentleman, Gary, mentioned uh, not to miss the uh, milkshakes. Yep. Can I get a milkshake? Sure thing. So while the milkshake is being made, uh, let's top off the sundae with some uh, nice fixings here. Blueberries and raspberries. So maybe a little bit of blueberries here, nice and fresh. Just a little bit of raspberries. Right here, and the fixings get better because we have some M and M. Uh, oh, I think these are called Reese's. Oh, and then nice peanut butter cups, and some nice whipping cream. Let's go for a little bit of that right on top. All right, and we can't forget the cherry. Here we go. Thank you, Hudson. Thank you so much. All right, so that was a lot of work just walking through the buffet. And uh, Cassidy and Hudson uh, gave me a really nice uh, sundae and milkshakes. All right, so lots of stuff. Cannoli, the carrot cake, which I should have taken half. But before digging into the eclair, I think uh, we need to take a sip of the milkshake. Nice and thick. Mm. Oh, very nice, nice and thick. Mm. And cheers again. Mm. Very nice. Let's dig into the sundae first because uh, ice cream doesn't wait. A little bit of the brownie and some of the butter pecan ice cream. Making a mess, but that's half the fun. Mm. Mm. That is fantastic. Normally, I get an ice cream headache, but just when the ice cream kicks in, that warm brownie just kind of mellows everything out. And the butter pecan ice cream, President Ford was so right, very nice. But that eclair is looking even better. Oh, pastry is nice and light. A little bit of raspberry jam. Mm. And nothing like real whipped cream. Mm. Let's try the chocolate covered strawberry. Mm. Very nice. So, this is the Nordic Lodge in Charleston, Rhode Island. Fantastic place here. And I think this really is the best seafood and lobster buffet in America, at least I've ever been to. Lots of nice food. Seafood is fresh. King crab as well. That's my favorite as well as Izzy's. So I hope you get a chance to come. It's very hard to get to, especially from Vancouver where I'm from, but well worth the trip. So if you're looking to travel around New York or Pennsylvania or Boston, definitely make the trip out here. Fantastic folks. But just as good as the food was, it's the people. You see the team members, the staff member work with each other like they were family. And it's fantastic to see. And you see the hosts and the servers calling patrons and uh, guests by their first names. Really nice. Uh, fantastic. Feels like home. So thank you so much for joining. And uh, until we see each other again, I hope you're eating well and hope you're keeping well. So uh, with that, God bless and take care. Cheers. Mm. Very nice.